Here, at the heart of the cave, a whole rainforest. Where the roof has collapsed, flowering plants have made their home. 200 metres below ground level. It is like a lost world. And the thing is, just a few minutes ago, there was me in a kind of cool, dark cave and then ejected into this. This place was streaming sunlight. Hot and sticky rainforest. And where there's water and light, flowers have produced life. Plants such as this banana flower thrive, which in turn attracts butterflies and other animals. It's a, a thriving ecosystem here. And the whole thing is fed, really. Everything, this whole food chain is fed by the flowering plants. Flowering plants have created a small but perfect version of the rainforest above. Look at that mist. There's a whole weird microclimate in here. Clouds of moisture envelop everything. And the plants just soak up that moisture, just draw it up and then pass it out. So that kind of cycle of transpiration that we see on a big scale up in the tropical forest is kind of captured in miniature down here. Caves formed under all the world's great rainforests. And this extra water even began to transform the global climate. As water evaporates, it absorbs heat and cools the planet. The Amazon rainforest alone keeps its whole region five degrees colder. Across the planet, water injected into the water cycle was eroding deep canyons, carving high mountains, and sculpting the karst towers so iconic of Asia. <laughs> 